what is fuzzy search? Fuzzy search for me enables two things. It enables us to search with a non-exact match. So something close to, and we can set the sensitivity on that. And it also allows us to search very, very quickly. Now, a quick disclaimer here is that fuzzy search is not great for pulling out thousands of lists from the database, searching those. For that, you want to use a service called Algolia. For all repeating groups that are a hundred, a couple of hundred, fuzzy search is a great way to just speed up your filters and speed up your search. Let me demonstrate. So I have an input, which is a regular bubble input, and I have another regular bubble input that I've named fuzzy search. I've done this just to show you the difference between the two. On the repeating group, we are just searching for users. And on the bubble input, I have search any field that contains the input. And for fuzzy search, I've not actually set that up just yet. Let's just have a look at the search on this input. So if I had to search for Kevin, we saw that that was about a three, four second delay. And that could be quite a long delay when you just want to get going with your work. Fuzzy search is not set up, but let's do this now. So the first thing you actually want to do is install the plugin called Fuzzy Search. I've done it here. ZQ Fuzzy Search and Autocomplete. Go ahead and add the plugin there. The next thing you want to do is find it under Visual Elements. There it is just above the Install More for me. Click it once, drop it on the page. I'm just going to move it up there. Okay, now let's look at the inspector for this particular icon. So it's asking what type of data do you want to search with this plugin? We want to search users. What is the data search? It'll be the same as this repeating group, which is do a search for users. No constraints. Then it's asking, then it's asking which fields do you want to search in? Well, let's say the full name and job title. So either of those it gives us up to five different fields to search. Now this is where we're going to say all set text to match from an input box. So I'm going to check that. That means match the text I write in here with the search. Okay, let's go further down. Next thing is the threshold. So if I set it to zero, zero, that means an exact match. I'm just going to set this to about two, 0 0.2. Um, 0 0.9 up to one means you're not going to actually get anything useful. It'll just return everything. So this is a sensitivity. One, no sensitivity. Zero, lots of sensitivity or perfect match. I'm going to set it to 0 0.2. Now we need to do, we have to set up this ID. So if I say fuzzy, what it's doing is saying, it's trying to make a connection with another element in your browser. So this is for this particular icon. So what I have to do is take this word fuzzy that I've set, this could be anything, okay? Any, any word you like, you could say search, but I've called it fuzzy. And I need to attach this ID and match it with this. And to make that happen, we actually have to change something in the settings, our global settings area. So I'm gonna go across to settings and I'm going to scroll down. So this is the top of the general tab. I'm going to scroll down to find expose the option to add an ID attribute to HTML elements and to check that box. What this has done is given us a new option here, ID attribute. So in this plugin, it said input box ID. Now I can set an ID attribute on this input and that's going to be fuzzy. Fuzzy was there earlier because I was testing this functionality. Okay, so these two match. Now when I type in this input box, this ID attribute will match it with this search for users and it will search these two fields for what I write in this box. Now that's all very well, but how do we tell the repeating group to then search this data source and not this data source because this data source is matched to this input through 
this constraint. But we don't have any connection to the repeating group at the moment. We need to link these two elements here. So what I'm going to do is create a conditional on this repeating group to say that when the input fuzzy search, when its value is not empty, so when we've typed something in it, then change the source to this source here, which is the search and autocorrect A's matches. So we've got a three-way connection here. These two elements use an ID to connect. The ID is on this input at the bottom. We're to enable that from the settings area. And the ID here is there, fuzzy. And then when we search in this box, we're basically telling the repeating group to go and look at this data source here. Okay, so that's, I hope you understand that three-way connection we've created. Let's try it. Let's search for Kevin. So you can see that was an instant result search. And it goes back to default. So if I search Kevin here, look at the delay time. Okay, about a three second delay. If we look back here, instant. So I tend to use fuzzy search on records between a couple of records up to about 250. Um, for anything much, much larger in the thousands, I tend to use Algolia and I also use Bubble for certain things that don't need to be that performant. But fuzzy search is very, very fast and you definitely want to use it in your repeating groups, especially in your admin area.